now to the laws of indices. And the first law of indices will be the product of numbers with the same base. That means when two numbers are multiplying themselves with the same base, you add their powers. An example would be a raised to the power b times a raised to the power c. This will be equal to a raised to the power b plus c. You add their powers when the two numbers are multiplying themselves with the same base. The second law would be division of numbers with the same base. That means that when two numbers are dividing themselves with the same base, you subtract their powers. An example would be a raised to the power b divided by a raised to the power c. This will be equal to a raised to the power b minus c. The third, the third law would be numbers with double powers. That means that when we have a raised to the power b all raised to the power c, a has two powers, a has b and a has c as power. In this case, you just multiply the powers. So that would yield a raised to the power b times c. The fourth law we'll be having here is numbers with powers and brackets. Numbers with powers and brackets. So that is a times b all raised to the power x. When you have two numbers multiplying themselves, having one power outside the bracket, just distribute the powers among those two numbers. So that would give us a raised to the power x times b raised to the power x. But note, when you have a plus or minus b all raised to the power x, this would not be the same thing as a raised to the power x plus or minus b raised to the power x. So note that. Thank <laughs> you.